Finally, we've made it to game two. A bit of a controversial setup in terms of the adminning and what servers we're on. For those of you wondering, we are playing on US East. Evil Geniuses have like three West players, and it actually is just better ping for them overall in comparison to that of four anchors uh, plus a C captain. Ryu, you're finally with me. What the hell is going on, buddy? Uh, not bad. Yes. I agree. I, I mean, well, it's also Crypt Swarm, by the way. It, it's rescaled. It's not nerfed, unfortunately. I guess it is nerfed, but... You're fine, yeah. I mean, you have plenty of damage with right click alone, but Valix actually doesn't go for the, the, the Null Talisman. Uh, he actually picks up the Tango, and, and the interestingly enough, the Ring of so there is that again this is the second and last game of the day for dota pit and uh apparently some controversial okay return on your open mic and we'll get that fixed <laughs> some controversial picks or not picks rather controversial okay. all right there we go. i'm good okay controversial server issues coming out evil geniuses their lineup i already introduced it in the last game i'll introduce it this game ppd playing your dazzle rtz playing your lycan fear playing your dk Universe playing your Zeus and all the way down in the jungle. Zai is warding up here on this Crystal Maiden. That'll be your EG lineup for the Radiant Squad 4 ASC. Drax playing your Mirana. Trixie on the Jakiro. Matumba Man with that giant ass Buster Sword. He looks like Cloud Strife. He's playing your Sven. Breath of the Iron Dragon. This sword's actually amazing. Boogie's on your Witch Doctor. And to round it all out, well, Valak's on your Safe Lane Death Prophet. So it is going to be your mid Sven, and he'll more than likely be up against Arteezy. No, it's actually Fear on the DK. Either way, that's probably fine. But the off lane Zeus, question mark. Hmm. Well, he's actually going to start with the bottle first after he gets one or two CS. So they're going to be, Universe is going to be trying to control the runes. And they he's going to be trying to play aggressive as he wants. I guess he's assuming that the bottom's going to be roaming or something, or they might be aggro tri-laning, but... That's yeah. not the case. It's not the case. No. I mean, he does have arc lightning, and he's going to try to pull the creep wave back, and he could probably CS pretty effectively with this. And he will get his bottle, so one CS and boom. Mm. The funny thing is, like, this is the build you see from mid laners that don't know what they're doing, but I guess it's going to work out for Universe. I mean, he's, like you said, going to try to control the runes, and we'll see how that does turn out. But Matumba Man again playing a hero with Cleave. This time around, it has it actually with Great Cleave. He had a great first game on Ember Spirit. He was so far behind in terms of CS. He was down 10 to 30 CS. Arteezy had 30 on his Razor. He had 10 on his Ember Spirit. And then all of a sudden, he got like maybe five kills when EG were getting caught out. And that got him towards a BKB and a Battle Fury at about 20 minutes. So, Yeah, I watched that game from like the 15 minute on. And I was like, oh, well, this already started. Oh, well. But, <laughs> yeah, we won't see an Ag Sven, though, this game. I was I was hoping to see it one game, just to see it in action. But it's, it's definitely not useful with any other other heroes. I mean, buffing up DP right-click is pretty useless. Yeah, that's awful. That's just not a good idea. So Matumba Man's just going to be going for more of a hard carry type of role, I think. Yeah, maybe strength treads into drums, into BKB, or... What not? I mean, if you think about it, Lycan once uh, Lycan can't do that much DPS once the Warcry goes off. That's 16 armor mm. for uh, seven seconds. So yeah. it's gonna be really That's hard okay, for Arteezy. He needs an assault your ass, I think. He needs assault oh and like God, Abyssal, and then and then also Fear's gonna be having to put a lot of load in here. Yeah. This game. Although Fear ZK is not something we see too often. He's actually playing in the mid lane. And this just goes to Evil Geniuses and how they can roam effectively and, and change their lanes up, which I do like. I have yet to see Fury ZK, and then all, already it's looking pretty impressive with 11 last hits. Again, not a hero you should be winning a lane with, but he is winning that lane. Uh, only by a CS right now, but DK is, is doing pretty well for himself. Meanwhile, bottom lane, how's Universe doing? He's level 2, got Arc Lightning, almost his boots. Now, Valak should have a pretty good time. Again, they're not going to be able to stop him from farming. Much like in the previous game, and he had a really good game as a Viper, so... 
Brixie is uh, is being pretty aggressive here. PPD getting caught out potentially. Brixie though gets poison touched and he actually is taking quite a bit of damage. However, RTZ is not there to help him get this kill. However, dual breath going. One more right click. That's not, Ugh, right. not there to get it. Trixie will get away just barely. Survives somehow, but very close. Meanwhile, Fear getting storm bolted, but he's fine. That was really weird what Trixie did because he started off with full HP and then he just decided, okay, I'm going to contest this pull, but then PPD got the heal off and the poison touch off and immediately raped Trixie. But he was doing amazing in the soft lane, but now he's forced back and uh, the lane, the lane is obviously forced back too here so he can still do whatever he wants i mean none of these heroes can really pressure him out of the lane they need the cm roam and uh, zai's still only level two but they're, they're gonna be needing him to rotate over eventually does have a stack coming out which he's gonna try to take with the help of uh pvd here which should get him some levels and again you could just jungle as a cm which is nice but he needed a bit more than that i think Meanwhile, Stormhammer coming in. Fear getting caught out. There's a courier there. Fear in some trouble. There's the cast coming through as well. The arrow connects on Fear. Beautifully done. Nice play coming up from 4 AC. That's your first blood going on Fear and the Warcry. They're going to try to take this tower down. These creeps are buffed up. They've got some armor going their way. And they'll put some pressure on the tower. Yeah, and they just cleared it up to then. So if he can get it up to 140 mana, Fear could die here again, but... And it's not going to happen. PPD is rotating over, and still a lot of pressure being put onto this mid tier one, and that's not even without that's without a DP. So mm -hmm. it's 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 nice to get this early pressure on onto your t early towers without having to use ultis. Well, they know that RTZ is going to be doing the same thing later on in the game as soon as he gets some more items and levels. So they want to try to put pressure on towers as well. I mean, they also have Trixie too, and that's also like you said without DP, but also without Liquid Fire. That's important to note. I mean, with that, that's that's kind of ridiculous, but. Either way, the universe is still sitting bottom. One point in arc lightning, three points in lightning bolt, one point in static field. And I actually like the offlane Zeus because he's going to have level 6 pretty early on here. And they're not committing too much for him to get level 6. I mean, they're making sure he gets it in the offlane, but sooner rather than later, he's going to have his, uh, his um, Thunder God's Wrath. And that's going to be pretty nice. Yeah, it's surprising how much more universe is getting off this offlane as a Zeus. Considering they have a lot of stuns and two stuns with the Marana leap into Arrow and obviously the Witch Doctor cast, whereas Trixie can be as aggressive as he wants and he should be able to get these levels. So, Trixie actually is only sitting at eight last as compared to that of Universe's 16. So that's yeah, you're right. This probably shouldn't be happening, but it is. Not that either of these heroes should really be cores in the all plan. However, that's not the case. They are in this game. So, yeah, he's going to roam through, but. They should have a uh, meaningful impact soon into this game instead of waiting for like, you know, nine minutes. You saw last game, uh, the Centaur having to farm a Blink Dagger for like 10 minutes or something just because yeah, he like, got shut down so hard. It was like 20 minutes before he actually got his Blink Online or something. And But then when he did, Trixie started doing some work there. However, it just wasn't enough. But at six minutes in, but some man finishes up his treads. He's got God Strength and... He's kind of useful now, but I maybe think he needs an, another item. Meanwhile, they're going to ult up at the top lane. Trixie getting caught out potentially. Crystal Nova's going to go. Frostbite's about to go as well, and Trixie will fall. TP's going to come in, but it's a bit too late. They have to cancel the TP coming up from Boogie, and it looks like they will try to pressure the tower now here in this top tier 1. Although the creep wave does get pulled back to the tier 2. Come on, where are you going? <laughs> Look at him. God. tower is under attack. Well, they're the structures are eh, I don't think they can get this. It's one thing to note that Trixie Glory. actually didn't go for anything in Ice Path. I think you... That's the trade-off. If you get dual breath, you're not going to have any lockdown for this hero, and it's not that great. Arrow's going to kit Zai, and he's going to go down. Yeah, actually, they have, they have great. They have Grave, oh. but... Grave's going to go. Zai will stay alive. He's going to try to TP out of this, yeah, and he's, nice. he's actually alive somehow. That's actually impressive. I was looking at his items, too. I was like, yeah, he's no got eagles. a TP. No eels coming up from Alex, obviously. Way too early for that. Fear gets stunned up by Stormhammer. There's the Dragon Tail coming through. He does have Elder Dragon form, but... But some of Man not wasting Warcry. They're realizing he can't get the kill. But again, no tower taken like you mentioned. But they do put a lot of pressure on it. And they keep Zai alive, which is very important. And Arteezy has about a six or maybe five minute Vlads, I think. With the, with the kill up at the top lane. Liquid Fire going TP back in this time from PPD. A rotation over from Drax, maybe in the mid lane. Stormhammer into Arrow definitely could be a good combo on Fear. Oh, they're going on. Actually, Krobs might die. No, no. The Wolves? Yeah, One they wolf? were chasing. Oh, Thunder God's Wrath. 
Is the universe like, hey, Retro how are you? I'm here. I'm in this game. I have my ultimate now. That's an easy kill. Easy R button press. This is where you start spamming your chat wheel. Zeus ult now. Zeus ult now. Yeah. Starts coming like crazy, but pretty big and kill. And he got, he got the solo EXP from that. So that's uh, because it's global. So he got level 7 immediately from that. And I mean, he's probably the highest level in the game now. Well, it's the is, but... So that's an offlane Zeus getting way too much for Bye, his position. Goodbye, Zai. It was nice yeah. knowing you, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Haste and Sven is actually the most frightening thing in the world early on in the game for a Crystal Maiden. Arrow? They're thinking about using it here. They're but Superman has another storm hammer. Yeah. Oh, the Haste runs uh, out just as he's running underneath the tower and the Invis rune gets popped. Yeah, they probably told him, okay, he has Invis rune, so no point in actually going on him. They did bait it out though, that's nice. Stormhammer is going in, God Strength now is done, but Summon Man still running Dragons. Oh, the arrow does connect, but they have actually. PPD coming in, Zai comes in as well. Uh, that TP is not going to work out. Frostbite, and there's the Breathe Fire to get the kill. And now Drax is going to chase down the body block from the Wolves for a bit, but he will get out. And nice TP rotations, evil geniuses just sitting on fear, making sure he lives. Good stuff. Yeah, they always do these rotations where they just let Arkeezy just farm the jungle for like two, three minutes, and then they put pressure on the other places. And then if they once they TP, he'll TP to a lane or go push another lane to get the tower normally. So like here, fear, fear, should Good be go. fine. Yeah, he's they've got grave. He's actually very tanky with Elder Dragon form. He had ten armor, eleven armor, twelve armor. I mean, you have weave on you. Look at the armor just stack up. It's beautiful. Yeah, they just wasted a lot of TP. So now they need. Now they need to find a way to go top lane to stop RTV getting this tower. Else it's well, going to be going TPs, down. Though. They might actually just put pressure on a tier 1 tower and try to get this trade going, but I don't know. Yeah, they're going to top exorcism now. And full witch cry, but they are going to use the glyph coming through, and they should still be able to get this just fine, but RTV is going to pick up this tower. They could still problem. get a deny, too. So it, if they do get this deny, it's definitely a better trade because... Lycan and Zeus are free farming right now. No, 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 no. They're just gonna trade evenly. One tower for one tower. But I they also get plenty of farm for Universe Bottom, though. I thought Fear would, would go for the deny, but instead he just went. I think he went. He, he rounded out of Elder Dragon form, maybe? No, no, I'm not he, sure. had he had it. He had okay. it until, like, right here ish. Fine. Like, Alright, I gotcha. Well, but, either way. Yeah, he went for the rune. But some of Man is sitting bottom now. He's got. A bracer will probably go for a drum, I imagine, or maybe just get a bracer into a BKB, which we've seen often from uh, heroes like DK. Uh, speaking of DK, he actually has an ogre club coming out, so if you're not even going for the bracer, he's just going to go straight into that BKB. Um, and PPD and Zyra are trying to get some solo experience around the mid lane. And we've seen a lot more Crystal Maidens recently, which I'm totally down for. Is he going for a Midas? He's got 1,400 gold in the bank. What is I saving for? Probably a Midas. I'm down. I mean, there's, there's, there's no other way, and they, they're, they're probably pushing for the later stages of the game. That's what they want to do. They want to take two or three Roshans, get map control, and then go high ground. So by the time then, if if I get uh, Midas, we'll probably have a blink of the four staff or BKB. That's going through Macropire as well. Error does not connect. It got blocked by a Wolf, I believe. Meanwhile, Tower takes a bit of damage. Arteezy backs away. He's got his Vlad's done. Treads up as well. Uh, Curious to see what Universe is going to go for. He might go for a Blink Dagger. It's done. No, it's Trixie. Uh, this There's the ult coming through. There's no follow-up here. RTZ might die for this. I think he's got to change his mind. Ice Path comes through. Cask still bouncing away. They will get the tower. Deny not coming in. Now that the Dragon Tell Trixie got too far for there. They pick up one kill. And Jirak still has leap. He should get away just fine. But they pick up the kill and the tower on top of that. And now they're chasing after Matumbo Man potentially. They're running through the trees here. Crystal Nova goes, they already miss him, and uh, Crypt Swarm comes through. They back away. Universe does have his ultimate, so I mean, they're ready to fight. He's got 2,000 gold in the bank. I don't know what he's building, but he's going to build something pretty quick. It's probably a Blink Dagger. He almost probably has go, it. Probably go with that into either a Veil or an Ags, and then probably a Refresher. I don't know. If, normally, he likes going Yules on every hero, but I don't know if they need it this game. Yeah, I don't. I don't see him picking it up. I'm, I don't know. Maybe I, could I think... dodge storm hammer. Like you could dodge the storm hammer. You could dodge some arrows. You can get unsilenced, but yeah, it, you you need the blink first just to reposition yourself here. And then, 
it, you probably want to go for more burst damage instead of like control. Well, he has the mobility now with that Blaine Zagger like you talked about. No surprise that he picks that up. RTZ has 2.4k gold, and that's a Midas coming out from Zai at 12 minutes into the game. He already had his Tranquils as well, so it's not like he's really missing anything from this. And he's going to get to level 7 just by Midas in this group alone. In fact, he's halfway to level 8, so that's pretty nice. Elder Dragon form the Tuppet Man getting caught out, but there's a lot of heroes here. Ult's gonna go, nobody falls yet, except for the Death Prophet. Matumbo Man war cries up, he's got 20 HP, still falling low. I don't believe he will fall. The Elder Dragon form did not do enough damage to kill him. Lightning Bolt coming in, Matumbo Man will make a way, but uh, Boogie and Jirax. The universe walks right into an arrow, however, but uh, this tower should be free for fear. Oh. Yeah, they, they're just getting outmaneuvered right now around the map, and they're not... Radiant There's nothing they really can do fallen. with their heroes right now. They need a lot more farm. Yeah, they're just taking too much burst attack. damage, and the sustain coming from EG right now is just too much. Like what they have, Witch Doctor Hero level two for team fights, but still, all their heroes are really squishy right now. They have no HP on these heroes. Even Matama man, he just yeah, dies no, too quickly. He's he's got 1300 health too, so. And they have nothing to really stop PPD from graving right now. They they really need to hit some arrows on him or get some casts going on. I mean, this game is right now. On top of all of that, one thing we haven't talked about is Universe is just dewarding like crazy. Also with Lightning Bolt, there, there's the, the map is almost dark with the exception of this ward here in the jungle. The map is pretty much dark for uh, four anchors right now. So, and again, RTZ continues to farm away. So. This is a bit of a rough game right now for 4A. See, even if this game goes late, I don't think it needs to. Evil Genius has already have a, 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 a Necro 2 for RTZ, so... And you look at what 4AC have, I mean... Matumbo Man, again, he has a Blink Dagger, that's great, but... What about Valix? What does he have? He's trying to get to a Yule Scepter desperately. He doesn't have his Void Stone yet. He should be getting it rather soon, though. He almost has that uh, Yule Scepter, which is nice, but it's a bit late. For Death Prophet, especially in the safe lane. However, Blink across, Universe gonna get caught out. This might be a big kill. Arrow's gonna connect as well. There's no Grave coming through. PPD not there in time. And Universe falls. He's down for 30 seconds. Good smoke. Frostbite, but Artis is gonna come in. Wolf's gonna come out. There's the God Strength. PPD's gonna Grave himself a bit early, but Matumbo Man does fall. And there's the Necro coming in as well. Mana Burn did go, but he sticked up, and Drax is gonna be just fine. Although Artis is still chasing after Boogie. Great arrow from Drax. And Boogie will make his escape because of it, so. Very impressive play. However, they do lose the Tumba Man there, which is, I don't think, a, a worthy trade. However, they do get the Tier 1 Tower, but that also leaves Roshan open to be taken. Yeah, they'll get Roshan at the end of this, and this will be almost here's uh, BKB done. And then once they have the BKB in Necro 3, they'll probably try to team fight. And it's going to be on 4 FPP. Or 4 S. It's up to them to like, they have to get into the back lines. They have to make sure they disrupt PPD from what he's doing. He can't just heal and grave the team. Else they're going to be losing. And Trixie, he's going to be going down here. There's one more boat. Yeah. Well, so, good play from Universe to get the kill. So, Yule Scepter? He has a Sage's Mask, so that's what it looks like anyway. Zeus ult now. Third lowest win rate in Pro Dota 2 history. Wow. Well, this is unsurprising. Average hero damage. That's not that shocking, I suppose. Yeah, he should have the most in the game. Because his ulti. And uh, you're constantly spamming Lightning Bolt every yeah. every five seconds, basically. But, they uh, really need to get some BKBs up for 4 SC, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. And now that there's a Necro 3, I don't know if it even matters. They have a lot of right-click, they have a lot of pushy potential, and like you talked about, Fear, once he gets his BKB, they'll probably just push. In fact, he has it now, so... Unless Shadow does go, though, for Drax or in 4 SC, they're gonna walk right around. If they walked into Universe Lightning Bolt, and that would be a problem, but they're gonna walk right up towards Fear, and Fear might get caught out here. His BKB is flying out, and it might not... It's not gonna get there by the time they jump on him. Beer is actually in some trouble here. Arrow's gonna fly. There's the Elder Dragon form. Arrow does miss. The rest of the EG squad is coming, but Fear's still in some trouble. There's the ultimate coming out from Boogie. Fear getting body blocked. He's taking a lot of damage. She's still alive. The weave coming through. Barely. They have the gravy BKBs. They're gonna turn on this Matumbo man getting caught out. Breathe fire. Goes through. Trixie's gonna fall as well. Double kill for Arteezy. It's about to be a triple. Drax falls. Arteezy. Can he get the ultra kill? Boogie. He's gonna fall to the walls, maybe. Ultra kill from Artor. Well, yeah, that's I like mean, the nail. You saw that coming, right there. I, yeah. It's, 
They messed up a lot of plays right there. They messed up the arrow. They could have just waited for Matumbo to stun. Matumbo jumped way too early. And nobody was really there. And then he didn't stun immediately. Also, Trixie, he didn't use his ice path immediately. You know, and then obviously they allowed the enemy team just to get too close instead of just patiently using that gank. So an easy kill turned into the two team, almost a team white. Or was that team white or was that just four? No, no, they, just they were four. missing Valix. He was bottom. Yeah. And he's actually ultimate. He's using his ult. Oh my god, he's dead. He might die. Universe can't get the kill. He's gonna die to the exorcism. Valix was not expecting that. He gets the kill. Meanwhile, they're walking out of the base. There's the god strength. I don't know if this is gonna do him enough. Crystal Nova goes through and slows everybody. Trixie's getting low. Might fall here to Arteezy. Breathe fire misses. Just barely. Arteezy's still diving here. He does have the ages. Fury now going in a tumble man. He's gonna fall, it looks like. Arteezy still going to work here. He wants these kills and he's not going to find them. He does have his ult in 10 seconds, however, but... Yeah, he's, he should be going down here. Buyback with some man going in. Great from PPD. There's the Dragon Tail coming in. Arteezy getting caught out. Ultimate not being used. He is going to fall a bit too much of it. He bought an arm with, by the way. Before he yeah, he died. tried to survive more. But some man is going to die back, I think, though. Uh, very close to the urn, uh, might be enough. He's yeah, he's dead. Fear pops the other dragon form. Jarax is chasing after his eyes. Eyes is probably gonna live. Great grave for PPD yet again. Ice path coming through. Trixie should get this kill. The urn, the shadow shadow wave is gonna come through. Trixie's backed up. They finally do get the kill on Zai. Fear BKB is now. Dragon Tail is available. It is gonna go. Silence is not gonna do anything. Breathe fire about to fly. If they will grab the kill, Boogie's getting brought low as well. Fear is just manning up against pretty much every hero. Yule Scepter on to creep, because why the hell not? Uh, Breathe Fire is not available. Boogie goes Scepter up. He's got his heal going, but it will keep him alive just barely. Fear about to fall, finally. Stick! No, the grave. The grave. That's on PPD. Thunder God's Wrath actually gets the kill on Boogie. PPD is silenced <laughs> up. What? Just what? Them. What? 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 Uh, uh, but he's going to get cut out, Yule, so... Yeah. Uh, he's going to die here. Crypt Swarm. He's got great. great. Music. There it is. Great stick as well. Here comes Archboard coming in. Aaron. Ultimate coming out. They have Necro 3, I believe. Pop your Necro. You die by the house it's on cooldown. That's on cooldown. Okay. PvD buys back. Some of the man is... All right, this this game has turned clowny real quick, but... It, that was really funny because Fear was like pinging PvD because he didn't grave him. Was, <laughs> he had a TP too. He could have got out. No, so. how unfortunate. But they might have had a Yules up, so I don't know exactly if he could have. But uh, Matumbo Man, he might be, yeah, he, he seems to be in trouble here. Blink, blink. He's fine. Uh, maybe he's not fine. What is he doing? Okay, he's fine. Either way, at 20 minutes in, Evil Geniuses have a 10,000 net worth lead, an experience lead of almost 7,500, almost 10,000, so. I mean, this is a game that I, I feel like... And I don't want to blame Paint too much, but 4ASC were kind of a bit downtrodden after they realized that they were playing on East again. But the ping advantage is, it's a separate difference in terms of the overall difference. EG would have to play 300 ping for a lot of West players. Anyways, Boogie's getting caught out. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's the difference between a 200 ping from 4ASC and a 300 ping from Evil Genius. I think it's the most fair way to do this, at least in my opinion. Yeah, it's actually playable with 200. I don't like 300. I don't think it's. I don't think it's playable. I mean, I don't think it's playable either. But <laughs> well, teams have had to play on it before. Arrow's connecting on here. He might fall. They already used great. No, they didn't. He's actually fine. They're gonna throw every single ability on him. But die in the tree line ulting. He's getting a full one off. Jurax about to fall, and the ult comes through from Zeus. There's the lightning bolt, double kill for Universe. Brooks yeah. is about to fall. RTZ chases him with Tumble Man. That's a kill for him. He's out of killing spree. He'll get the double kill as the Necro Archer chases after poor Trixie. The Valak buys back. Tier 2 tower in the mid low is going to fall. They lose only fear who survived for a lot longer because of PPD's grave. And EG are running over the fin deck here in game two. Yeah, that was a really amazing play by IJ looking into the trees, knowing that they probably won't be able to cast any spells on him. It's just sad that his ulti didn't hit as much as it could have, and it was only level 1, so didn't do that much. PPD he was going to be picked off, though, and that's just, it doesn't matter if he dies too much. Uh, so I thought he could have got the group last second. But they might get some return kills, yeah, which just to be going down. No scepter. The man jumps up. RTZ gets hammered now. Right click coming through. 
gets his arm lit. Air sells it, misses up the Archer. He's still getting kind of low there. Work by I think was already used. And Zai's gonna try to keep him alive. Arteezy can toggle. Uh, he is gonna toggle the storm hammer. He will fall at the end. But here comes Spear Elder Dragon Form up in one second. He has his BKB. Oh, you're supposed to go down here. And the coming air is coming. Zai is dead as well. Evil Genius is the tactic gaming. Or dead. Oh, fear though. He has a look though on DP over here. Oh. BKB, he's trying to fight this up. Drag kill up one second. Drag to try to him, but uh, that's not gonna work. He's gonna run down. Somebody gets the. No, he had the dragon tail full slam on Drax, and he's gonna identify his blink dagger, however, before he dies. That's a full team wipe. Yeah, from evil geniuses. So this is the way a lot of old. And all of a sudden, Death Prophet is the second net worth. Uh, they gave 4,000 gold, actually 5,000 gold, off the back end of that fight alone. The hell? This. That's a lot. Is I don't think there was any streaks. ADA, yeah. RTZ probably had a streak. Universe might have had a streak. Yeah, RTZ definitely had a streak, and I'm pretty sure Universe is. Some man getting caught out, he does just blink up, but he, he will get away, actually. Uh, oh, trick action case on a CP. But uh, he, he, so anyway, he does fall. Dragon's Wrath did give them vision, and they could not get the kill on them. They do ult, and they do not have a rage bit. But he's gonna be sad uh, once he realizes it's not out. Gold oh. for me. <laughs> Just ulted for that, too. <laughs> but it's okay. it's okay, he's level 16, so it's just making uh, going places go fast. I don't know what this says, but I like it. Uh, I know nothing about kings. items in Dota. Anymore. You're useless. <laughs> you know what I do? I just, uh, I just play the game. Ow, oh, shocker. Ryu, well, that's great. Meanwhile, Phil Kuras has been picked up for our TV. He needs to be pulled. Actually, the bottom of the for the Hyperstone, unless he already has it, which I don't believe it does. Alex is trying to push the mid lane. He's trying to get a BKB. Man, is sitting here with Blink Tagger. He's ready to go. Maybe the universe, Zai here, the rest of the squad. Roshan is about to spawn. There it is. He just runs in and he lights up and uh, there you go. Dyer's Naval Tower has fallen. Yeah, they did a tier 2 though, that trade and Dyer's Naval Tower has his uh, BKB. He's dead for the team fight. I mean, they have a lot of armor. It's going to be really hard to kill DP. Because uh, once you put your BKB, the match damage, the match burst from EA is not going to be useful. So RTB kind of needs uh, that that special really badly instead of the tournament. Instead of when they dive though, so hard to the tier 3, they made the game a lot harder, but so it's still not out of reach. And uh, yeah, Tricky does the pick again. They're gonna just down mid. Well, actually, they're going to the top first of all. So they saw with the other guy here at the top. And uh, the tower is going to take a fall. Looks like there's a dragon tail. Denied. Zai gets a thunder. There's the storm hammer coming in. Arrow. Great. Yules, maybe. Actually, for that, we'll just. Uh, this is okay. That's not very Yules, unfortunately. TP up from Xerax. He looks like he will make it away. They do have the test tonight. I believe. Maybe. And he's got a link on, on fear. Uh. Whoa. Oh, there you go. It just gets a uh, nice play. Proposes. God disposes. Laid down smack dead. Yeah, that was just really. Play the universe. They're gonna leave the entire group with towards the base now. Mookie's doing his best to push out the tier three mid. And um uh, yes, they are in some trouble here. Arrow does connect on RZ. And he's never been on point from Jurex. It's just unfortunate that they've been silver behind. Because like he's had some really good ones too, man. Hey what? I don't know if Boogie should sell his cutter to get this eggs, but worth it, come on. I think he's thinking about it. He's or he can it. just disassemble his arcane boot. The, uh, the... You should do that. That's Boogie. better. Come on, there dude. Yep. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Beautiful. Radiant, Radiant fortification. You gotta fly out. There's gonna be the macro as well. Ice path. Fear does have a double three ultimate now. Oh, he does hit up on an arrow. The, the ultimate now. Fear in some trouble here. No. Ages. Arteezy's the only one that has it. Fear, even though they do grave him. But look at the 
Look at it go. Now, PP Universe getting low as well. They will bottle up fear. He's going to jump in, looking for a Dragon Tail. He cannot find it. Universe does have his ult. There's the Storm Hammer. Fear is going to fall. They defend the base. Meanwhile, Zai ultimate. 47 from the high ground as well. A big ult coming up from Universe. They will bring down Mutumba, man. Two dead already. Now the Ghost after no Zai falling. He's about to get killed, but Artizi with the double kill. Buyback coming from pretty much every hero on the corner of the map. Trix is jumping in as well. Fear has to walk down mid to get there, and RTZ backs away. 1600 gold in the bank. Trixie getting right click down. There's the poison touch. PPD is alone. Exorcism is about to go off cooldown. Or off cooldown, rather. Ice Path coming. PPD will all jet in the deck. They will defend. He buys back, though. Evil geniuses want to force this game to an end. But uh, this is going to be tough. They have no gem, no detection on 4ESC, who are going to back away and back their base, defending successfully after getting an arrow from Jirax on Fear uh, from the high ground. So. Yeah, basically they were in that game because of the arrow. They nice. the fight from Jirax, and then they got the Witch Doctor ulti on to both of the cores, making them low, making PPD waste his ulti or his grave. And they don't want to that early in the fight, and then they reinitiated by fear, which was uh, really bad because then he got blown up. And then RTV did kill off like, two people on the back lines, but yeah, they wanted to buy back though because they know that the new uh, timer on DP ulti they have to push. The problem is they still have Witch Doctor ulti, they still have Tracy with a lot of uh, he's got his ice path and ulti with the dual scepter, so. Still have a lot, and then now they're doing something. Okay, now they're doing the smart thing. They're doing the split push tactics where Lycan goes bottom and they go top. Dragon ulti is still up for fear now, so 44, 45 seconds for the crop ulti here, and that's well, that's they, right. they just waste a lot of time there. Unfortunately, they can't push into the top lane, but Artis is going back bottom. He has his necro three, he's got his uh, three wave coming out. They're going at top, meanwhile, bottom lane. This tier three tower is actually just going to die. And, uh, yeah, RTZ will take it. He's gonna back away now. He forces a lot of rotations here. They might try to get this kill on him. In fact, they probably will. But, uh, meanwhile, it's top lane. They're killing Trixie. Fear's going oh, to work Oh, but is gonna get right click down one. Yeah, Arteezy's looking for the kill on Metsama Man. He's gonna bottle up currently. No ultimate coming up from RTZ. Top lane, Grave coming out into fear. He's still alive. Meanwhile, the Storm Hammer. They will get the kill with Universe's ultimate coming back up off cooldown. VKB for Valtz. He does have Exorcist in mind, you. Artizi is still alive, barely though. He can arm with toggle, and he can also regen up. That's an Ax. Oh, Jirax, what are you doing, buddy? He's got to leap away. The arm with toggle, not there. Jirax is solo. He's getting chased down by Creeps. Here come the wolves. Oh, he's going to get his ult. Down. Jirax is actually going to die. Jirax has no mana for Moonlight Shot. He's setting the wolves on him. He doesn't even want the kill. Maybe he does. Four step away. And he falls. Artizi gets the kill. He's on a dominating spree now. And all the meanwhile, top lane was hectic, but. They could not get the racks. They are going to go for the racks down bottom, maybe. They're going to send RTZ home and the wolves back towards the base. He actually picks up Shadow, but what? Artor. Going for the uh, ultimate sneaky tactics. Okay, well. Told it. He's going to get a BKB. They're probably like, no, Artor. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> like, fucking sell that, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly easy. what they'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Having played with these players over a long period of time, Ryu, I trust your judgment, so... Uh, yeah. No, he's gonna be like, finish the game, get a BKB. <laughs> no, what did he buy? <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's gonna get the BKB. <laughs> he does pick up the BKB, the Lycan now heading towards the mid lane. <laughs> oh, man, they're gonna try to finish this game off, I think. Fierce pushing down bottom, he's got his double damage rune. Yeah. That's great. So, uh, they could wait for Roshan. I think it's up in like two minutes or so. Let's check. Or I'm actually just wrong. It's probably a long way away. But my I had a man. on the Roshan timer respawn. Yeah, I don't know. But some man's jumping in like crazy. Uh, I don't know about this fight. We did go. Knight. PPD. Armor reduction. They do Warcry. Crystal Nova goes. RTZ ultimates up. And they're going to try to fight this. They don't have all of their heroes there. Do they have detection? Have a Necro 3, there it goes. Blink away. Whoa, look at it go. There's the, uh, you have a BKB Artor, he's not popping it though. They want to get up to the base before he pops his BKB. Ice Path coming through from Tracy. That does nothing. Artor's ultimate now. Essentially wasted. Arrow sails through. Where's that going? Universe. It's hitting the tail.
How unfortunate. All right. Who and uh, Necro three. Wait, nobody wasted BKB. Nobody did. Oh, Matumbo. They might waste it now, though. Fear's coming in. BKB's gonna get popped up. BKB's for days. Meanwhile, there's the ultimate. The other guy's wrath blowing up a couple of heroes. Yeah, Zai about to fall. Boogie. Oh. He's looking at it go, but only for a moment. And Balak's now getting chased down. EG. Universe jumps in. Blink dagger. Lightning bolt arc. Lightning cleans up for ASC. And finally, EG can break the base. They break the game. 32 minutes in. They take the game. Number two. And Evil Genius is up for nothing in the group stages here at the beginning of Dota Pit League season number two. Yeah, that, they, they just basically won that team fight because Savin doesn't have a BKB, and then the perfect initiation from Fear, stopping Jakiro's Ice Path and everything, and they also had two BKBs on the Dragonite and uh, RTZ, so they have no way to stop those heroes from just...